Hello everyone, it's Vitzwell Slain again, and welcome to a let's play of a, a kind of underrated gem of a puzzle game. It's called Mole Manias for the Game Boy Color. So we already got to start on here, but we're going to start a new game so we can see the awesome intro. One day a mother and her children are out gallivanting and having a good time when suddenly she senses danger and there's an old man being a voyeur over there. And... Miss, and here comes the farmer, and he's going to just casually commit violence against women and s kidnap our children. And Mr. Studio Girl is even going to take our wife with him. Again, that old man in the background being a perv, and then we come, looking rather dapper with our scarf and shades. Uh, what's this? Your wife and kids are mine. If you want them back, come visit me in Jinbei land. I'll be waiting. Jinbei. And now we have sworn a jihad against this man, and we will not rest until we rescue all of our children and behead him. Whichever comes first. Now, there are multiple worlds, I think eight in total, so the plot of this game is uh, set in stone, so let's uh, read this. Welcome! Hey, Furball! My seven lackeys have your family. Come and get them if you can. I'll be waiting. The music in this game is great, by the way. Hop, hop! I am a. <laughs> here you are. I'm a kangaroo, the first boss. Be ready, hop, hop! Kind of weird that. Okay, I guess this guy, uh. has a vendetta against us. Yeah, so, uh, basically that's it. Um, oh, I'm not gonna finish that thought, it's kinda stupid. Yeah, we press A, we can, uh, tunnel underground, and that's gonna be the, one of the, uh, primary mechanics that we focus on in this game. Yep. Okay, I would like to show you, like, this is a hard spot, and this is what happens when we, uh, try to tunnel. Yep. <laughs> I love that. This game has a, a, a boatload of charm that uh, I makes me really wish that it was more popular than it is. I mean, I'd kill to see a Mole Mania sequel or, or maybe even a spiritual successor. What is this? <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, the old man's providing a tutorial for us because he was so helpless, he uh, feels bad for basically being a bystander. And while you're on the ground, you press B, so you can uh, look up and uh, survey the area to make sure everything is safe. Oh, yeah, we can... <laughs> doing that on the hard area will still hurt her head. There we are. And uh, we can uh, push and pull these big black balls. And not just big black balls, we can also do it with uh, other items. Now, uh, this area right here just basically means that they're going to spawn back here when you, uh, you f make them fall into a hole. One thunder. Mm. Okay, so that just to show us that there's nothing over yonder. So we can do like Brock Lesnar-esque suplexes to these balls. <laughs> and now we have a roving gang of Mr. Popos. Does the thing tell them what they are? Stop enemies from moving. I'm gonna stop. Stop enemies from moving. Nothing. I'm gonna stop these motherfuckers from living. Die. This <laughs> shit. None will escape my wrath. Oh. You just wait. Yeah. Stop enemies from moving. You kidnap my wife and kids. Are you working for the dude that did it? I'm not gonna let you live. Thank you for staying there and dying. Oh yeah, we already know that. I'm not gonna be a pacifist about this shit. Nah, fuck that, don't like boy. Suplex City, bitch. Okay, now what we do here is we take this ball and Destroy that, and now we can go on. Uh, so there are some areas where you need to blow them up. But uh, first, because I'm a sociopath, I need th I need to make sure these two are dead. I won't be satisfied unless they're dead. Hey. 
This, this, is, this is a genocide run of Mole Mania. In the words of Vance Archer, everybody dies! Hurrah! Oh yeah, we can uh, save. So, uh... Hit pause. I think that's the exit. What is this? No. No. I think it saves automatically. Uh, well, I want to save for what comes next. Yep, here's the old man, and yeah, he's had to help us out. Are you help are my signs helping you? I'll recover your hearts for you. Just, just relax. Oh, thanks. Don't get greedy with the hearts. We're out right now. Come back later. This is what happens if you keep bothering this dude. Don't you have a job to do? Stop bugging me and get to work. You want to continue? You're persistent, Ronan. Maybe you should give it a rest. Oh, you ungrateful mole, just wait till I get my claws in you. Yeah, that old man pushed our shit in. <laughs> That's... That will never not be funny to me. What I love about that is that, old man, if you could beat me up that easily, why couldn't you save my fucking kids? You lazy bastard. Oh, what does this do? It's a map. Go for the menu and you can only use it in the what level. Okay. It has been a while since I played this and I don't remember, recall if I ever uh, completed it, so... Might have some difficulties along the way. We're just putting that hole right there so we can, uh... Put these here cabbages there. I can't recall what... I think we get a special stage and we, uh... Get all these cabbages. And the cabbages, too, can be used to... Kill enemies. I never understood the appeal of cabbages. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a very controversial stance and say, as a youngin, I never liked cabbages. Oh. I wanna accidentally put this back in the hole. Or. Okay, this man has a command of dinosaurs and fucking... Oh, we got a radar. This man has a command of dinosaurs and kangaroos, and yet he's upset that he has mold in his garden. Ow! Wrong button! Oh, oh no, you didn't. Die. Alright, let's take care of this little dilemma. I don't think if you use the ball to destroy the wall, I don't think it comes back. So what does the radar do? Locator, rather. Uh, when the location of a boss or a bonus stage will appear on the map. Ooh, that sounds downright groovy. So let's, uh, take a look at the map. Okay, so it's going in kind of a grid. So there's a bonus area right over there. Oh, no, no. Over here. Let's get this last cabbage. We're going for 100% completion, baby. These guys just make me feel tremendously uncomfortable. Hmm. Okay, how am I going to kill this dude? I know how. Here, ba -ba -ba. Oh! Well, we killed him anyway. I don't want to take my also beloved genocide run of this game. Very important to me. Hmm. Okay, what are those? Oh, what is this? The cover in your uh, meter will be refilled. Oh, that's useful. 
I have a lot of ways to replenish our health in this game. So, let's focus on getting these cabbages out of here. We must liberate them from their cruel oppressor. See, if this dude had just conversed with me in a mature and civil manner, I, and not kidnapped my wife, I probably wouldn't be coming to ruin his garden every now and again. That's what I'm assuming this is about. He got tired of us, like, uh, destroying his garden for our ravenous hunger. Or, or to satiate our ravenous hunger. And so he retaliated by, uh... Whoop. Too soon. Yeah, we can poke our head out without, uh, you know, taking damage. But we can't be out. Gotta do the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm, what are we going to do here? Because we want to throw that ball, but... Okay. I'm going to have to use my big boy brain to solve this conundrum. Okay, I think as soon as he gets to the left, I need to like get out and like run over to the ball. Damn it! I'll kill you for that. Kill people for less, you know. See, I, I just don't have the timing down. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Why is he... Hmm. Am I really stuck on the first stage? Is that one hole that's tripping me up mentally? I need to get rid of this motherfucker. Because if I put a hole anywhere here, it's gonna fall in there, because I'll have to throw it to get it over the gap. Oh, what am I doing? Fucking stupid. I'm going to enjoy this more than I reasonably should. Man, I'm dumb sometimes. Getting real swole. Ah, there we go. I, I lost health from something that could have easily been avoided. And we're still trucking, we're still moving. What's over here? Mm hmm. What's that? Interest mark into bonus state. That's one for each level. Hmm. Oh, well, that's dandy. How do we get to it? Okay, we have to go from the other side of the screen. But first, give me this cabbage. It's mine now. I'm gonna save my wife and also fuck your garden up. And I don't feel bad for it because you deserve it because you kidnapped my wife. This is retroactive revenge. Okay, I pressed the wrong button again. Hmm. Oh, this is quite the conundrum. Damn it. How am I? Okay. Fuck you, Jack. I am not very smart. Not very smart at all. Got hit twice in the beginning stage. I'm trying to think of stages that start off hard and get easy as I go along, and the only thing I can really think of is uh, Legend of Zelda 2. What is this? Surrender. If you'd like to pass through the exit, just one time, but it won't be cleared. Oh! I think, ba uh, yeah, basically, uh, we can skip a level, but it won't be considered cleared, and we can come back to it, maybe? I don't know. Okay. And what, bitches? Ow. Special stage time! Drop the cabbage in the holes, and you a lot of time, and you win. If you leave even one, I win. 
Bring it on, you big gay bastard. He's trying to hit us! The psycho! No! I just swear I didn't mean it. All that shit about killing you. I swear. Oh, fuck. Ow. I just want my kids back. Oh, this dude. This dude. This dude's not playing no games. Ah! Oh. I win! Dang, you win, Furball. Here's the f uh, 20 points I promised. 20 points into what? I don't recall you even promising anything to me, really. You could have just said, like, oh, you win a free ass kicking. Oh, come on. I'm sick and tired of you dang dirty trolls. Ah! Get out, bitch. I could have, I swore I thought that was gonna, like, hit him. Woo, Popo. Give me this cabbage. You asked my wife for some cabbage, you dog. Anyone remember? I, I always love to sing that song in my head whenever um someone talks about, oh, why can't music be as wholesome as it was back in my day? Louis Armstrong singing about, like, killing the dude for getting around with his wife. I'll be glad when you dead, you rascal, you. I'm gonna kill you just for fun. The bugs can have you when I'm done. I'll be glad when you dead, you rascal, you. Watch his shadow and uh, place push pins where he lands. Okay, sounds easy enough. I got tired of waiting, so I left my kangaroo for you to play with. Kangaroo, excuse me. Not a kangaroo, it's kangaroo. Get it right. Vilain, what are you doing? Is he throwing apples at me? Why? Hey man, it's, it's cool. We're animals. Oh fuck, I missed. There we go. What is this? I love this. You're not very good at this killing thing, you know that? Oh! I miscounted. Hmm. You have fun doing that. Ah, oh, damn it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, apples. I can't tell if he moves faster now. Hmm. I, it's kind of weird to have a kangaroo boss that doesn't punch. He's got boxing glove, it looks like. Yep. He attacks me by throwing apples. It's kind of bizarre. Huzzah! We have defeated the heinous fiend. And now we shall, uh... Liberate our... Oh, my goodness. Fuck my family, I can eat forever with this. I mean, uh... Oh. I, I, I meant... We can eat forever with this. Yeah, we saved one of our chids, and every time we save one, we get this... Cute little cutscene here. And a different one each time. Oh, God. Well, my spine is broken. Now I can't save the res. It's up to you now, son. We got bonus, so that's 20 cabbages. So we got 100 points! We're, we are what the kids call a real motherfucking OG. This is a nice, wholesome family stream, by the way. Woo! Okay, so next... Yeah, uh, we have, and uh, we can skip ahead if we want to. Like, we can go into different worlds and not necessarily play them in sequential order. To show you, there's a uh, sand and 
But it's best to start slow. And the last level is obviously to fight that dastardly motherfucker Jinbei. But, you know what? I just realized that Jinbei is a One Piece character. Shit. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, stay tuned for more. Uh, this is a really fun game, and I really enjoy getting to show it off to people. And uh, I hope you're all staying safe in these trying times of ours. So, yeah. Talk to you later.